thank you so much. Uh, what you're seeing here is history in the making uh, because two very unprecedented things are going to happen today. One, you're seeing two competitors on the same platform. I don't think it's happened before. Uh, there are many times that I've discussed the same subject and I've only discussed it with armchair experts because we never get the final word from the people that are really involved. So you've got, you, you're the privileged audience that gets to see that. <clears throat> Secondly, what you're going to see is a very soft-spoken news anchor that doesn't happen either. And that's got nothing to do with my personality. It's because I've been under the weather the last couple of weeks. So if I do break into a bout of cough, then, uh, you know, just bear with me. Uh, that's the only request I have. Uh, but I may be soft, but my questions, I hope, will be sharp. Uh, so starting off, uh, you, you've heard the two gentlemen. Fantastic presentation, guys, firstly. Uh, Ajit, I'll start with you. You were very bullish about television, and, and rightly so. Uh, but all I want to know from you is that you also got the ICC rights. Why did you part with the television bit of that then? I mean, there are many takers. We all bid. There are many bidders who came for television rights. But you also. retained the digital and let go of television. Yeah? No, we, we kept the... We kept the tele you're talking about the World Cup? Yes. Yeah, if somebody is willing to pay a price for it, mm -hmm. I'm more than happy to share the rights. Mm. Uh, the other thing that I noticed from uh, the presentation that uh, Anil made... And that caught my eye. I'm sure it caught all of your eye as well. That is the word free, right? We all get attracted to that whenever we see that. And I'm happy as a consumer. I don't have to pay. Uh, so, I mean, I, I did my math. Uh, I'm not great at it, but I did it. And, and you, you're paying about 23,000 odd crore for five years. And my math tells me that, uh, you know, advertising revenue at whatever, five lakh for 10 seconds, the going rate, you get about 3,000 seconds a game. I did my math and, and it tells me that there'd be a shortfall of about 15 or 1,000 crores uh, beyond the ad revenue. And I thought that that's where subscription comes in. Uh, but you've got no subscription. So how do you manage the PNL? Yeah, I hope that's a rate that all of you agreed to, 5 lakhs for 10 seconds. I, I thought that was the going rate. Uh, you, might, you may be right. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not uh, going to comment on that. But uh, so there are different models here. Uh, we've seen what's happened to global giants who've come into India with a view that you can actually make a lot of subscription money. Actually, subscription money is, is notoriously difficult to, 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 to make. Um, you know, if you see what's happening on pay TV going down dramatically, and your ability to charge households is also limited, right? Because there is an NTO in place which says that you can't make uh, additional money. So, the inelastic side of it, because India is such an economy which is growing really, really fast, is the obvious choices about advertising. And, uh, you know, especially if you can provide value to advertisers, and, you know, whether it's TV or digital, I can assure you that advertisers see genuine value in, in, in participating in something like IPL. Uh, it should be a good proposition to work. And I'm answering this whether it's TV or digital, because the math is roughly the same, right? Because it's almost the same level that both of us have paid for TV as well as digital rights. So our, our take is that there is a lot more that you can make out of, um, out of the advertising dollars, especially if you can increase the viewers uh, and, and, and provide that value. Do you agree with that uh, in terms of uh, what he talks about? Firstly, subscription money, very tough to get. Uh, on digital because you've worked on digital before. It's quite natural, right? At the end of the day, when when consumers have to pay for what they watch, this is actually pretty much, I mean, internationally it happens, uh, they all pay for what they watch. In India, we have been, we almost see three Indias in India, right? There is a top 100, 150 million. Then there is the mid India, which is around 300, 200 to 300 million. And then there is almost a 400, 500 million at the, at the lower funnel, right? And, and the challenges, and if you generalize the challenge of India, then the, I would agree. But if, it, if you start going deeper, the top 100 million can pay. The top 100, 115 million can pay. They are paying across mediums. They are, I mean, whether you calculate the pay for view, the data cost, you look at affordability of televisions or set handsets that you purchase, everything, the top 100 million are global citizens or 100, 150 million, right? So there the affordability is not a question at all. The second part is the mid, and that's where I think the, where 
India be where the digital versus TV comparisons also start playing a bigger role, right? And, and that's because there are stuff that is available to you and that's where the content explosion has happened in India today. Earlier it was mostly PGC. Now if you look at access to internet or internet penetration going up, there's a lot of UGC which is coming into the ecosystem. There's billions of TV con uh, UGC content that's available. And that's entertainment for many, right? But here we are talking about a PGC hero content which cuts across masses, age group, any, any, anybody or everybody in India has some stage watched cricket in that. In that the, the third part is actually the bottom funnel, which is where actually the free model works, right? I mean, a, anything, any word free works, offer works, ev everything in India. And these brands understand, mediums understand, consumers understand. But that's where the hidden cost starts coming in. At one end, should I pay for content like 50, 70 rupees on a subscription or 100 bucks for a subscription per month, versus hidden cost of data. And that's where the India's dichotomy is. It's nothing to do with we sitting here, and that's where India's core challenge is. When we start offering them something on an ecosystem, why are they still watching on a particular medium? Why is the medium not, I mean, everybody would have loved it too, we have a linear fall. It is not a linear fall. It is still 500 million, 700 million watch sports on television. There is a reason. Because the moment I start watching it free, it can cost me anywhere between 300 bucks, even if it's a Wi-Fi, to almost 2,500 bucks per month. It's not free. Okay, uh, Anu, would you answer that, the, his, his point on the data costs as well? Uh, does that then add on? And is it then, uh, is strategy more at play rather than PNL that that I, I'm looking at in terms of your strategy? So, uh, that's not strictly true because you need to do the actual measurement. So, suppose you have, um, 17 bucks today or 18 bucks or whatever, can you get a cable subscription? You can't because you need to pay the base price of 130 or whatever per month. So the actual cost, even if you were to have no other channel but the television channel that streams, uh, not streams actually, uh, broadcasts uh, sport, it'll still cost you about 200 bucks a month. The issue with the 200 bucks a month is it is not variable. Whether you watch one game or you watch 40 games, it's the same. Whereas when I'm doing it on digital, actually I have the choice, right? I have the choice and as you know, data costs have been falling quite dramatically. Uh, the real question here is, how many games does an average person watch? And again, this is data that's available. So if you were to actually look at the average number of games and the average number of minutes that somebody would watch, it is much, much cheaper. It's sub 100 bucks. So it, it is, it, it is certainly very much within the affordable range. And we know this, uh, you know, uh, I've, I've done this in, in a past role in the past when, um, when, when we had IPL free on, on, on Geo. So we know how, how that data consumption works. It's, it, it's, no, uh, it's no secret that people don't watch 74 games all across the 40 overs, right? So if, if that works out, it's much cheaper. Whereas on television, you're actually stuck. You have to pay 400 bucks, otherwise you can't watch. He wanted to come in, Ajit, yeah. I have an easy response. You're uh, comparing 130 bucks for X number of channels for the full month with one game. Now, in a way, you are accepting that it's damn costly. For a, for a guy who earns, our, if I look at our per, per capita income of Indian population, that's the reality. It's nothing to do with me and him, which side we represent. That's the reality of India, right? Uh, yeah, of course, people will continue to watch everything, including YouTube, all content that exists on Geo Cinema, Wood, etc., plus a number of free apps. So, like for like comparison is that you, you, you get it much cheaper on digital. Okay. Uh, just uh, to you, Ajit, do you, I know that you have a very robust subscription model for television. Uh, do you fear losing subscribers there to digital, considering they'll offer it free? I don't see that as the reason, which is why I explained about the data cost. That should not be the reason. I think there are preferred viewing habits. Today, a lot of people are watching, especially paying for HD connections. People are paying for connected TV uh, connection, or at least not watching TV and probably moving into streaming. These, these phenomena are consumer preferences at the end of the day. And that actually shows me eventually you still need a TV screen. Whether you watch it through streaming or whether you watch it through pay TV or whether you watch it free, you still want the sports as an ecosystem 
is a large screen view. No, but their argument is you can also watch now digital on screen, right? You can watch it on a big screen. You can watch it on 4K. Data cost, 4K. Mm -hmm. So if your standard definition, if you want to have a standard feed on your mobile, it takes probably around 3 GB to watch a match. Mm -hmm. If it is 4K, it takes 10 GB per match. Now, that essentially means people will come and snack in and snack out. That, and TV doesn't, doesn't have that phenomenon of snacking in, snacking out. So to me, digital ecosystems in India has grown in a certain way. Most of the ecosystem, 90% of that view is actually UGC ecosystem. Mm. And that's a, that's a difference, right? Because people have, for decades, have been used to professionally made content on television. Digital has come and opened up a new content consumption phenomenon, and that's natural. We have found it interesting, found it snack in, snack out. We are here talking about the PTC content and that to IPL, which is a religion in country. You don't have to tell people to watch, you know, I'll give you free access to the religion of India. I'm going to go back to advertising, and I spoke to you, Anil, about, you know, the, the PNL, and you said that, you know, you're going to look at more advertising coming in. Uh, I, I looked at the inventories earlier, and, and probably Ajit would know those numbers because they had both digital as well as TV. Uh, TV inventory would be at about 90 to 95%, whereas you know digital was was languishing at somewhere around 78%, if I'm not mistaken. How, do you really see that change happening now, going just a season later? And these are numbers from the last season, I believe. Yeah, um, I'm not privy to last season's numbers, so I I can't comment upon that. But my my, my point on this is actually inventory conversations in digital are not material because you can have as much inventory as possible. What matters is who are you targeting and what, what you can sell through. So there might be streams where, which might not be interesting for advertisers at all, but there will be streams where you will have a 100% sell through. So it, it depends actually on which target group that you're, 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 you're targeting. Having said that, uh, look, uh, I'm sure they've done their modeling, we've done our modeling. We are pretty confident of, of the numbers. Otherwise, you know, it would have been pretty easy for us to get onto a subscription platform and say, look, we, we know what numbers, you know, the previous uh, uh, sort of organization was making on digital, right, on subscription. So, so we can, we could have done that. But this is so much, so much, so better. So if you think about it, it is, you've got zero wastage, you've got accurate targeting, you've got terrific measurement, and lower price. That's, that's, that's a win-win, and that's why we think the proposition on digital is certainly attractive to a much larger base of advertisers. Mm -hmm. uh, the one thing that uh, I, I actually happened to see, great presentation, Ajit, but I'd also seen your presentation, the earlier one that you've made a pitch for, that, that Star have uh, to go out in the market, and, and one of the slides shows that, uh, and I think the metrics that you used there were Google Trends, as well as uh, considerations, uh, where, where you point out, like, let's say an uh, air-conditioned brand or a, or a fan, uh, them and, and certain brands that went digital and certain brands that went uh, uh, towards television, and there was, a, there was a big gulf there in terms of considerations as well as uh, uh, Google Trends. Uh, how, would, how would you response, uh, respond to that, I mean, if these, these sort of trends that exist, uh, Anil? So again, I haven't seen the presentation, but I'd love to have a copy if you have it. So <laughs> I'd certainly like to, like to see that. Uh, look, uh, you know, fundamentally it's defined as a pitch deck. You don't expect it to say that, look, uh, TV didn't work and digital did work, right? So that is, that is not but like- the numbers that. remain true. Yeah, uh, certainly I'll keep that in my back pocket for when World Cup cricket comes in to say that, look, digital doesn't work and hence you, you, you shouldn't advertise. But look, on a more serious note, yeah. uh, Digital is one place where you actually have accurate call to action that says, look, is it viewability? Is it something around, uh, you know, uh, I, I want to drive uh, an action of at least getting into consideration or is it an action of purchase? So all that is only possible on digital. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to rely on, you know, any other metrics, right? To say that, okay, look, uh, we, we did a survey amongst 100 people and this is, this is what came out of it you can actually have accurate metrics. And the advantage of digital is that you can choose to buy on those accurate metrics. Uh, and customers finally pay on what has been delivered. It is not on an esoteric one of, look, we expect the ratings to be X, and hence, uh, you know, you must pay Y. Uh, 
I think it's, it's high time that television actually paid on a per mil basis. Okay, uh, talking about metrics, I, I, I've spoken to a few advertisers and they're circumspect and this has happened in the first world where you now know that uh, since there is no platform agnostic measurement system for digital, uh, I, I think there are a lot of uh, advertisers and brands that are circumspect about, you know, you, they don't know who's watching it. So we also know now there are a number of click factories that exist. Uh, how do you allay those fears that an advertiser or a, or a brand might have? Yeah, so certainly we'll provide world-class measurement systems, including trackers, wherever you want. So if, if that is, you know, th there can be arguments at both sides, right? Uh, finally, Bach is an extrapolation of whatever, 55,000 homes across the whole of India, and there could be click factories, etc. But typically on live events, click factories don't work as well. So it's very difficult to do that because there are live streams and, and, and it becomes difficult. We'll certainly provide all forms of tracking, whether it's double click, seismic, any, any of those, whatever a customer wants. We'll provide that so that there is accurate tracking. Now that uh, TV rights have seen a substantial increase in the amount that you both the players... Yeah, so you wanted to come? Yeah, please. Uh, in the initial conversation that we had in the last two minutes, I actually tend to agree. You know, digital has got measurement, digital has got, you know. You know, however, most of the things that you're saying is actually true for a YouTube ecosystem where you don't know where consumer is watching, when they are watching. Therefore, it's very difficult to, therefore, estimate how, how that view happens, right? And that's where the criticality of IPL versus digital viewing is different. IPL is appointment viewing. It is going to be family viewing. It is going to be community. You are not going to take that away from a hero hero content item, right? And that to me, yes, we can bifurcate. It's, I'm happy that we can bifurcate. We also have Hotstar as our ecosystem holds many cricket series. All attempts will be to what my colleague is saying is exactly what we will also be attempting. But please understand, if you overdo that too much, this is a community viewing game. It is the billion Indians interested in that game. That's my first point. The second point is, yes, we are saying this about targeting micro, all of that, and that's mostly valid in a mobile ecosystem. Now, when I move into connected TV, you have mostly somebody logging in with your mail IDs or numbers, right? And that the whole family is watching. You still don't know whether the wife is watching or the kid is watching. Even today, for example, I, watching connected TV, it's on my ID. My kid can actually watch all the ads which are targeted on me. So there is a dichotomy when we start digging deeper into digital or connected TV, mobile ecosystem or, or larger ecosystem. So while the thought process, I agree, digital ecosystem has got its own merit and we will sell digital ecosystem on its own merit. Uh, but having said that, when you have started comparing yourself with TV, which has been established ecosystems, start comparing then the, the if you're comparing on reach, start comparing the reach, because the reach is the one which has unified this country from this port. That's an interesting point that he makes about the reach, because everywhere else, Anil, in the world, uh, cord cutting is a phenomena. It exists. Uh, I was at a bar conference the other day. And, and India is completely the opposite, where you actually, television numbers are still growing. So there are households where television is still coming and, and cord cutting is so negligible that it really doesn't account for that. So, that, so is that something that, that you're wary of? Uh, not really. While television is growing, smartphones are growing much, much faster. Conversion from feature phones to smartphones is growing at an unbelievable pace. So there is no comparison between a medium that is growing that fast versus something that is, you know, at best, marginal. Uh, the other thing, actually, and uh, Ajit made a good point, uh, this is really about community viewing. One of the points uh, you know, in the midst of all this, which I forgot to mention, is that uh, we are going to also do a massive job outdoors. Right? So far, outdoors has been television. We are now present in over 20,000 universities, colleges. We are present in over 35,000 horega outlets, restaurants, so in all of those places, people will be able to enjoy the geo cinema features. So that's, that's something that we, we recognize the community element of it, especially considering almost all Indian homes tend to be single TV households, right? So that's why while the TV is on, 
there are multiple people who are actually viewing on other screens. And the reason this happens is the amount of choice that a consumer would have, whether it's language, whether it's a particular team that I want to follow, all that is a lot more possible on digital. And as far as the data that backs it up goes, look, the sort of uh, uh, data sources that we have and the types that we have ensures that our data accuracy is as at par with any of the global giants. And we are working with all the global giants, in fact, to ensure that our offer is, is, is actually right there. So we are absolutely certain that it will meet any of the standards that are required to demonstrate accuracy measurement. Uh, just the last couple of points I want to touch upon because I think we're completely out of time. But, but this was, uh, you know, in terms, as I mentioned earlier, there's a substantial increase of television rights that you've paid. Uh, the one area that everyone's going to look at, maybe the price per 10 second might increase, whether it's on television, whether it's on digital. I believe, if our numbers are correct, it was at 5 lakh for digital at 10 lakh for, for television. But does, does the fact that now for the very first time there'll be two players in the market, does that take away your negotiation power with the advertiser? To the two of you, maybe Ajit, you could start. See, I've been in this, in this Disney for almost a month now. I've met probably around 20 odd clients in the last three weeks. Not a single client has me, checked me on the effectiveness of TV, sport being on TV, Negotiation, yes, everybody wants to negotiate, but more, more importantly, people have negotiated more because of the macro environment trend that's in India, rather than trying to say comparable, right? Because the moment you compare TV and digital, I ask them cost per million. You want to talk the digital language? I'll start talking the digital language. Then it's about video views and all of that. We are happy to, happy to actually do like to like comparisons on CPMs and then see whether it's cheap or not. I'm happy to then work it around. Imagine, uh, even after a decade, decade and half of the internet penetration and growth in India, would you have imagined that TV still compares similar CPMs than on digital? Right? That's, that, 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 even when I was in a digital ecosystem, I didn't check TV, you know, I, I didn't check as much as, because it's a, it's, we are all growing, right? We are all growing, money is coming, but I, little, take a step back and looked at television, and I said, oh, this is that cheap. GEC, the hygiene content, hygiene content, is around 15 to 25. UGC platform sells at around 50 to 70 bucks. How much of a you target, it keeps targeting only increases the cost per million. So, even today, now, I'm, all I'm saying is, yes, connected TV will grow, HDTV is growing, TV still has headrooms to grow, there are enough population in India who want, still wants it real free rather than being said as shown as free. I think all four pillars in India uniquely is still growing. There is room for everybody. I am hoping that with this increased conversation, increased interest in this game on both mediums helps both of us grow because both of us have actually paid cricket costs have increased, right? And, and I am sure, uh, you know, Anil will look at more strategies to expand that more client list into cricket because cricket was known to be, you know, you know, only certain advertisers come on cricket. Equally, I'm now willing to talk everybody to, you don't need a budget as a constraint. If you want 50 million impressions on television, happy to discuss what that, what, uh, what that cost and at a certain cost which is comparable to any other ecosystem which can give me a similar reach. If reach is not comparable, then obviously you start paying higher. Uh, I think uh, most people in the room should thank me for two things that Ajit has mentioned. One is that he's putting it on FTA, which means a larger audience base, which, which has access to, to, to games. And second is he's willing to sell on a CPM basis on targeted audiences. So both things uh, great for all advertisers. Um, uh, so I, I, don't, I don't necessarily think that IPL will necessarily have a constraint in terms of number of advertisers. And, Ajit is bang on. All the conversations that we've had so far, people have been uh, quite excited about IPL coming up. A uh, few of the agency folk that I've spoken to have also said the same, that look, IPL should sort of kickstart the, uh, the, the economic spending on advertising. So that is, is likely to look, uh, look, look quite good. Uh, I think the key around uh, IPL and advertising is if there is a way to increase the base of advertisers, 
uh, TV typically has about 100, digital last year had about 200, 250. Is there a way to make this much bigger? Because uh, all said and done, IPL as a property, whether it's TV or digital, delivers really, really well for audiences. And that is the reason it's actually a natural choice which, uh, which, which, which should help the industry grow. Uh, uh, finally, uh, I wanted to touch the content side of it because up until now you only had that one player and me as a consumer uh, had to make do with whatever was available in terms of what the content is there. Uh, would there be now special focus on that and now suddenly does content become that currency to be the differentiator, just not in terms of the medium that you're broadcasting in or streaming, uh, but also the differentiator in terms of which place does the brand or advertiser target? Both of you could answer, maybe Ajitu could start. Just repeat that question please. Content suddenly becomes that currency, the differentiator between the two platforms now? Actually, content has always been the currency. I don't no, but earlier I had no option, right? Uh, there was only one broadcaster, and, and if I wanted to watch the game, I would watch that. But now maybe uh, it's how you present it or it, the way you present it could be that differentiator for someone like me who probably has both available to him, digital as well as TV. See, I, I think even if I had both the both the rights with me or if he had both the rights, I think both of us bid for TV plus digital. It's not as if we are we bid uniquely only for one and didn't bid for others. But at the end of the day, when cricket costs go up, we would have done everything in the ecosystem to differentiate irrespective of who holds the right. Even if I was holding the rights, technically the rights on cricket costs have gone up. So every possible eco means to expand the uh, both whether it's a cost, whether it's access or whether it is uh, whether it's more number of viewers coming in and watching that game is an is option that we would have tried. We would also like to look at more number of advertisers supporting the game because the cost of cricket has, has actually gone up across. It's not just one medium. So to me, whether you hold the rights together or more, content is the currency because to me, if you look at IPL, during COVID time, it was going, went up to six rating. It was never six rating. It was around four rating. The reason is... IPL when it starts happening, let me just complete, okay? IPL when it starts happening, it's almost is like a mood upliftment of the country. And it's sentiment, it's passion, it's, you know, it's almost like it gave me a window to express myself, family viewing, collective viewing. So to me, IPL is stands way above everything else in India and it probably will boost the economy or the sentiment in India today.